Magnus, you set a world record. How did you do that? You, Magnus again. Magnus for the third time. Magnus the fourth. This is unbelievable. Magnus, you got in here not even 10 seconds. Whoa, Magnus might get a full top 10. There's Chuck E. Cheese Ranch, Penny Larson, Bruce McSwilly, Raymond Berger, Donut Predator, Jagger's Game Time, Saki Chin. It's been a while, Saki Chin. What have you been doing all this time? Psychosocial, Camden, Mr. Rally Man, Robert Banks, civilian Robert Banks, by the way. Hard to believe, but true. Good to see you, Johnny Mac. Chris Dunn, Tony Beatties. Road to a thousand pound bench press. I love you and I love that moniker. A thousand pound bench press without a shirt. A raw. Publix earlier, juggernauts. Just trying to get over everything done with before the darkness. And here on the East Coast, it's starting to get dark at about 5.30, so. What's on the agenda tonight? Donut Predator, that's good to hear. Get the blood in that knee. I would do leg presses. Don't lock them out. Get the blood in there. Different forms of leg press. Alex, hello from the motherland, Croatia who I definitely want to visit one day, along with many, many other places. Psycho We Social, Bella. Yes, 325 pound Big Lenny. Did the Hells Angels intimidate you back in the days? No. I was threatened with them and I think the outlaws as well, but hey, I'm a heavy hitter. I'm a big player. When people got something to do with me. They don't come by themselves. No siree. They have to get the, the gangs after them, with them. Sure, Robert, I'll give her a nice kiss when I meet Sassy. Juggernauts, nothing good happens after dark. That's true, particularly even if it's 530. Johnny Mac, I don't get it either, Johnny. They're cookie cutter. Lifting shirts and support gear, even belts, wrist wraps, singlets. Kaizen, you're going to upper body war? Wish I was there with you to help you, to spot you and film this onslaught on the upper body. And I hope you're doing the same, getting on film your intense workouts so your future generations can watch this and learn, as well as future generations of maniacs, of course. Any progress in your hermaphroditism research? Actually, no, Magnus, but looking back, that was a very unique experience. And what surprised me most about her was the amount of muscle she had head to toe. She wasn't particularly tall. She was short, maybe about 5'2 or 5'3. But every body part, like I said, she had a halter top on. Big delts, traps, biceps, lats. Big calves. Amazing. And a big, 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 big clitoris. Figure freak. Licking the gym floor is designed for times when you are basically mentally and physically out of it, but you need to go to war in a weight room. That's when you hit, you really flip that switch. Road to a thousand bench press. Yes, unfortunately. And I just cannot 
grasp this concept, but they continue to do it. It's been, did you know, in about 50 years, it'll be 200 years of Marxism. And that's outdated, nonsensical, cookie cutter way of life is still being proliferated. Well, if it didn't work the first time, and it's been used many, many times in different forms, it's never going to work. What do few says? What's my opinion on Dave Palumbo? Dave Palumbo was a freak of bodybuilder. He's the guy to go to if you want to be a freak. He'll give you honest advice, and he'll he'll make you have you stay healthy too. He's got good supplements. He's got good podcasts, and I consider Dave a close personal friend as well as somebody I look up to. So Dave's like a big brother to me. I admire Dave very, very much. Donut Predator is going to start with small weights at first, then slowly add more as I go to see how much my knee can handle. Good. Get the blood in there. Develop the muscles. You'll heal up just fine. And when you start to really want to put more weight on, just keep adding the reps and then slowly add the weight. Raul Rodriguez, it's funny you said that, Raul. Because tomorrow morning I'm going back and I'm going to do this first thing in the morning when I wake up. I bought a bag of lemons. I'm going to cut them in half and squeeze a half a lemon into my water tomorrow morning with my apple cider, extra virgin apple cider, and my Himalayan salt. And I'm going to sip that before my first meal. During the time I'm out here in the sun, first thing in the morning, and getting my oxygen and sunlight as well as meditating and praying. So it's funny you said that, Raul. Would I live with Putin? I'd be honored to meet Putin. Yes, Johnny Mac. Hogan was willing to do much more, but that's the way it goes. The best thing to take an hour before the workout? Probably some people like to take an oral, such as Anavar, Superdrol, Dianabol, Anadrol. Some like to take something with caffeine, which I don't. It constricts the blood vessels. Some like to take a Viagra. But what I do is I'll take a Cialis on an every other day basis. So that being last sometimes 48 hours in the body, that'll cover me for my workouts. And an hour before the workout, some like Fenibut. So it's up to you to try each protocol and find out what's best, but also find out what these substances are doing as well. Are they constricting your blood vessels? Are they making you jittery? What you want to do before workout is to be getting ready to flip the switch. And actually, you should have a meal in, which is at least two hours before the workout. Although some people like to have a little protein with carbs an hour before. You could try that with some carb powder. But I think a meal about two hours, two to three hours before workout that's digested is probably your best bet with doing every other day Cialis. Yes, Robert Banks. As you can see, it's a little dark, but I decided to come up. And there's the panther. See her up on the grill? Standing up on the grill looking for prey. I, she'd love to meet Johnny. She fits right in with that black grill cover. And none of the prey can see her. She's a ruthless killer, and we're so proud of her. Good cat, good panther, Onyx. Thanks for asking about Onyx, Robert. Road to a thousand bench press, use the same amount of programs of protein, roughly is the same amount when cutting. 
Just adjust your fats and carbs accordingly. Obviously, less carbs when you're cutting and less at night. More fats at night when you're cutting. There's Onyx. Truth one did chest. 130 pound dumbbells, three sets of nine. That's excellent. Flat hammer press, three sets. Dumbbell flies, two sets. 200 body weight dips to burn out. That's a very complete chest workout, Truth One. I may have to try that. That's one of the best chest routines I've ever seen put together. Is Brad on bad terms with the Cuban? I think there was a little back and forth a few months ago, but I don't see why anybody would be on bad terms at this point. Dan San Fernando says, as long as we have poor people, the ideas of communism and socialism will always be there. But you know what, Dan? I think it's it'll be communism, whatever, in any case, because even though the poor in this country have a higher standing of living of, of the poor in other countries, they're never satisfied. And they're always told to look at the uh, wealthy people with hatred and envy. And that's about, that's the problem. The propaganda will never stop. Yes, Donut Predator, both leg days. Raul Rodriguez, yes. The young hermaphrodite would have blew Vince Goodrum off that stage, I can guarantee you that. And that's with no training. I asked her if she lifted weight, she said no. Hello, Els Goldberger. Good to see you. Thank you, Johnny Mac. Thank you, Magnus. Any tips on bad calf genetics? Well, stretching the calf, not only during the workout between sets, but in between workouts. And you have to try basically everything and don't neglect the calories. You know, it's not, people sometimes get the illusion that if you want to improve a body part, it's how you train this, add this exercise, do this technique, and it's not. Increase your calories, increase your protein, increase your meal frequency. If you're not on PEDs, get on something. Until you exhaust every single protocol as far as growth and recovery, you'll never find out what, what can make your calves grow with bad genetics. And my genetics are lousy, but I found out the best thing to make my calves grow or a better circulation. My circulation's poor now. Every other day, every day training worked good for me. And pulling a sled where the weight was behind me, a weighted sled, seemed to build my calves up more than anything. Oh, and a donkey calf raise machine, which we had at the old world gym where you're bent over and there's, you put a weight, that, there's a pad that attaches above your hip. That seemed to work really good too. And of course, the reps gotta be high and they gotta be controlled up and down as much as possible. No, I wouldn't recommend the egg membrane from the raw eggs anymore. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Yes, Dan St. Fernando, that's a problem. Very acidic for teeth, but one of the doctors, Dr. Berg, matter of fact, suggested using a straw, but I'm just going to sip it relatively quick and then rinse it with water. I'll see how it goes. EQ and test baked beans is a great stack. Should not have many side effects. As long as you're eating and training and sleeping, you're going to make great gains from that. Very good choice of, you clearly can't go wrong with that stack. Putin, not Putin. Thanks, Lewis. Chris Kiska, if anybody detracts from your training, you gotta put a stop to it. Women don't dominate anybody's life. They may think that, or they think that's the way to be. And they have high ideals. Women always looking, they're always looking for Mr. Right. They're always willing to dump guys. And then they realize once they get older, they shouldn't have done that. So, and again, men too. 
you're not by the time you find somebody that's perfect for you life will be over so there's no reason anybody can't find a potential mate in the daily activities they go to your money your church your shing your gym whatever there's no reason someone can't do that and make it work Kaizen Productions, cookie cutters don't want to re-rack their weights right here. That's inexcusable. And that LA Fitness I go to in Boynton is a disgrace. You have people taking fixed barbells to all areas of the gym, dumbbells to all areas of the gym, not putting them back, never putting the dumbbells back in a pair on a rack. It's a complete disgrace and no one says anything. They used to. Kaizen Productions, you must have high standards. I wish somebody just left a 135 on a squat rack. Hell, sometimes they'll leave 275 or dumbbells in the middle of a squat rack. Uh, no plates on a leg press. It's just ridiculous. You're bitching about 135? That's all I would kill to find a gym where 135 is left on a squat rack. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch is waiting from a growth siesta. That's right. That's why I'm against caffeinated or stimulant pre-workouts. If you're able to good, eat a good meal two hours before your train, get a very intense training session in where you went heavier, did more reps, and your muscles feel crushed and pumped, and you're able to drink enough water, drink down a real quick post-workout drink, and then a half an hour, an hour later, eat a nice meal and take a nap. That doesn't get any better than that for making gains, and Chuck E. Cheese just did it. Great example, Cheese. Yes, Kiriakos Grizzly looked like me 20 years ago. I don't know how old he is now, but he's definitely a powerhouse. He's got a lot of mass under there. I would suggest he go on a diet and see what he's really got at this point. No, Johnny Mac, I haven't taken Melanotan well over a year. TW hit a 120 kilogram bench for two. Not bad, TW, but get those reps up. Don't do the low rep stuff too often. Yes, you should eat garlic in your salad you have every night. Does Brad's dwarfism affect his gains? No, I think Brad needs a few more meals and some more sleep, that's for sure. Should you train a muscle once or twice a week? You should train it once a week, but there should be some overlap. For instance, on one day you do legs and then maybe a couple days later you do back. You're gonna get some leg work from the deadlifts, even some leg work for the bent over over the stabilization. Likewise, on some days you do chest and another day you shoulders. You're still gonna get shoulders on chest day as well as shoulder day. Biceps, if you do back one day and biceps another day, you're going to be working biceps twice a week, so do everything once a week, but schedule your workout for overlap. That's why I never really was into chest with triceps or back training with biceps. Get some overlap in there. Now, what you should directly train twice a week are you could do abdominals with no weight, of course, and you should do calves at least two times a week sometimes three to five days a week. I don't know, I like to find that hermaphrodite. Very interesting. Lee Priest talked the truth once, as Lee Priest talked about doing calves every day, but just body weight, upwards of 500 reps. Yes, if you have stairs at home, do it on a stair, do it one-legged. Would I win in a fight with a Komodo dragon, James B? 
Absolutely not. Komodo dragon's teeth are like knives, and their saliva is like hydrochloric acid. Coming in contact with a big alligator, crocodile, or Komodo dragon, a bear or a big cat is not what you want to do. Robert Banks, that's not a bad idea. I consider myself a minister now, but I've, I've got to look into the ordination. Or I could be non-cookie cutter and say I'm ordained by God. How do you protect your joints? Don't lock out. You see a lot of people lift and they say you got to lock out and it doesn't look good. Even Big Ramy, he seems to lock out his leg presses. It's not something you want to do. You don't want to lock out even the bench presses. I think in powerlifting competition, you got to try to lock out your elbows. That's not the thing to do if you want to protect your joints. Probably the only movement you can lock out in is a simple tricep press down because it's not that much tension. You're using a cable. But other than that, I wouldn't lock out. Ronnie Coleman never locked out. Many bodybuilders never locked out. Plus, the tension's off the muscle. I mean, why are you training? Is it to have every rep look textbook or to make your muscles bigger and stronger? Who is a better strongman, Mark Henry or Kazma? Nate Marks, Kazma was one of the greatest strongmen ever. Matter of fact, he was so good they didn't invite him to the world's strongest man for a few years because he was so dominant. Donut predator, that's a good way of looking at it, but I don't know, I think genetics are somewhat overrated. Until somebody eats and sleeps right, we don't have no idea what their genetics are. A Christmas Eve live, yes. New Year's Eve live, yes. Thanksgiving Eve, Thanksgiving Day, sure. Well, a number one reason I don't recommend the egg cell membrane is because there's bacteria in it. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch says, blast the calves with 10 cc's of oil. Hey, if all fails, that's probably a good method. Yes, I've been to Wawa, and I bought a sandwich here. It was the most disgusting, sorry excuse for food I've ever seen. Thank you, Rusty Shackleford. That's going to be great. I appreciate that. Creature Connoisseur says he's 24 and a millionaire. If I'm do am I doing good in life? Well, millionaire isn't worth much anymore. I mean, if it was 1970, I'd say, yeah, that's a lot of money. But doing good in life is, are you healthy? Are you honest? Are you loyal? Are you moral? Are you helpful to humanity in a way that are you able to provide employment for others? Do, can, do you give others instruction on important things in life? That's what I call doing good in life. And being an example to your fellow man. Now, as far as having so much money, that's good in some ways, but it's not the whole key to doing good in life. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch, I never had great calves, even at 450. So I'm the exception to the rule. Chris M., I'll try to get a touch with Chris Anzer for a Delray Misfits reunion, but I think it really should be a Bradford Manor for a change. Get up all, all the misfits out there or somewhere. Yes, you have a Christmas Eve live. Aristophanes of Athens. Creature connoisseur says he's a 24 millionaire and cannot get a girlfriend. You're not supposed to get a girlfriend, creature connoisseur. He's going to rob you blind. You got two choices. Get yourself a woman to have that supports you 100% and is going to stick with you and have children with her. And make sure this woman is physically fit, mentally, and she has good parents and she's of good faith 
and she respects you as a man and wants to see you become a billionaire. Now, if you're just looking for a cheap thrill, that's what escorts are for. But I never understood the concept of a girlfriend. Never did. There's no commitment there. There's no, there's no real love there. From a man's point of view, it's a sex object. From a woman's point of view, it's to use that man financially and every other way and controlling the man. No quick pump. I didn't see the evil Knievel BMX. I do remember them as a kid. I never had one. I never had a bicycle until I was 12 or 13. I still had a paper route. So I had taken some money from earning from my paper route and bought a bicycle, which I was allowed at 12. But I wasn't allowed to ride a bike when I was too young because my father always said that a lot of high risk activities, there wasn't any skateboarding or bicycling because he said he didn't, you never want to have a young child break a bone and then it doesn't heal correctly. And therefore you're not going to, you could be hampered in future athletics. But yes, I remember those types of bikes. I also remember in the early eighties, what other kids had were those BMX bikes, the mongoose, the first year they stopped using spokes and just had, what do they call that, mag rims or something like that. And I actually was riding, I told you that story. It's good, it's another for a future lie, but I was riding one, some other kids, BMX bike in the dark hollow woods without a seat on and they were doing jumps and I was doing it too with them. And sure enough, I did a jump on one of those mongoose bikes that didn't have a seat on. And guess what happened? When I came down, that post of the bike without the seat on went and ripped my nuts off, or at least opened me up. And that's a topic for a future live. Dan San Fernando says, Brad bought a new booty band for his toning. God knows what's up to what Brad's up to, especially without any contact with the misfits and especially with my guidance around myself. Because thanks to myself and you maniacs, Brad changed his political views. Brad was a Bernie Sanders socialist through and through, Obama supporter. Hillary supporter through and through. And he was a Trump hater. Blessed hearts. Well, everybody, people get satisfaction in doing things their way. You ever hear that song by Frank Sinatra? It's called My Way. It's very cookie cutter, but it's true. Men in particular should want to do things their way. If a man trains a certain way, and I don't believe anybody, you could tell them, but don't insist that they change their ways. Let, let another human being, another man or whatever, have their own system. Give them, let them have pride in what they want to do and what they believe in. Especially if it's not, if it's morally sound, of course. Yes, Danny Almeida. Dehydration is like lack of sleep, lack of REM sleep. One of the most dangerous, unhealthy things you could possibly do. And so many people were worried about what vitamin to take or what food to eat when they're lacking sleep and, and hydration. And it boggles the mind. It's just like the analogy is similar to those guys that go to a gym, competitors or not, and they're worried about their PEDs, but their training isn't 
on a good level and their eating and sleeping is substandard. I, you have to look at the basics first and you always have to reassess, hey, what could I be doing better? And look at the things that are most important. Thank you for joining us, Charlie Conway. It's actually not late. It's actually earlier than usual. Rowan Rodriguez is having a needle in his arch feeling. Yes, it could be the start of plantar fasciitis overuse. I was told some of the best things you can do is when you're sitting in a recliner after a workout, get a can of, this has to be a can, I think like club soda, and freeze it. Don't let it break in the freezer, but have it almost completely frozen. And you want to take that can out, and when you're sitting on a, in a chair, you want to take your shoes and socks off, and you want to roll that fascia, that tendon on the bottom of your foot, up and down that frozen can, and that gives you quite a bit of relief. And my plantar fasciitis was horrible, but it got better through custom-made orthotics and using that frozen can. Let me know how that goes, Raul. Nate Marks? No, testosterone, more specifically androgens, can make your testicles shrink because of the fact that that's where your testosterone is produced. And if it's not being produced by your body, but they're getting an artificial source, there's no need for that gland to produce testosterone in the same amount. So it atrophies and it shrinks up. It's almost like you get a sac, your testicle sac. It's not full. It's like a a hollow sack, if you know what I mean by that, like a, like a like a raisin, all shriveled up, and with your estrogen level going higher, you can develop protruding breasts, to where some men can lactate, but that's very rare. I never did. What do I think of chicken gizzards? Not the best source of protein, but it's probably the cheapest. And it's better to eat that than not go with protein. So you may have to go that route one day. I think my father is aware of what I do, Robert Banks. And I think there's a few things he's disgusted in. But that's normal. Bradford Murray's tattoo artist. The prices this week are horrible. You got $9.99, which is okay for New York strips, but I always look for the $5.99 sirloins and the ground chuck at $4.99 or less, which I'll buy up in quantity. But $9.99 is okay, but that's somewhat out of my budget now, and I still have some ground truck, ground chuck, and another sirloin in the refrigerator. I'll have to get meat this week. I don't know what I'm going to get. Hopefully, I'll videotape it and find something, maybe a roast that's a little bit of less pricey. Charlie Conway was teaching high school today. What a great example of a misfit maniac molding the future of the world. Much respect to Charlie Conway. Not only that, the Encyclopedia of the Delray Misfits. A runner day renaissance man. My reaction to Jay saying I'm a waste of oxygen. Eh, that's what he's supposed to say. <laughs> I consider it a, a compliment. Is high rep calf raise is good for ankle endurance? I would assume so, Kaizen, but I also believe the ankles being mostly tendons do need that very heavy weight and where you're supporting heavy weights. And be careful when you're running and please don't play any 
sports like basketball or soccer as you get older, because you, even flag football, you're not in control. The sport's controlling you. And those are fine playing those sports when you're young, but always have control. A lot of adults, sad to say, rupture an Achilles and they're out of commission for many things of their life, not only training for quite a few months. Road to a thousand bench press, my cutting protocol is simple. For the Ruby Classic, which was at the last Saturday in September, I would start my diet June 1st. So that would give me June, July, August, and September. Roughly four months, 16 weeks to get into shape. Some may need 20, some may need 12. For me, it was 16. The first thing I would do when uh, cutting is change my diet. Dairy products would be gone. That includes cheese, butter, anything like that. Condiments would be gone with the exception of maybe some soy sauce. And of course, salt and pepper, those are fine. And more Pam cooking spray and extra virgin olive oil, but in small amounts. And protein remain the same. I would increase the meals by one or two to where I'm eating five or six solid meals in addition to a post-workout protein drink blended with oatmeal. I would eat carbs my first couple meals, two or three meals in the morning. For example, I would have 10 whole eggs, maybe a cup or two, a cup and a half of oatmeal. No fruit. I wouldn't eat fruit. Second meal, I would have maybe a hamburger patty with sweet potato. And the third carbohydrate meal, which would be after the post-workout shake, I would have, you know, fish and maybe some rice. And that was it. And the last two or three meals of the day would be protein, green vegetable, a little bit of nuts. I wouldn't have carbs the last two meals of the day. And I seemed to sleep fine on it. And that was the main thing. Kaizen, Raul Rodriguez has a great tip for all of us, including Kaizen. Find a thick pole, use a four inch wide pipe and stretch your calves at the bottom. And you can use the roundness to get an arching motion. Thank you, Raul Rodriguez. When was the last time I saw the Sith Lord, anonymous hero? Three, maybe four years, if you can believe that. Will Brad be attending another ugly sweaty, ugly sweater party? Party, the Chai Seven Dude Twenty Two. I'm not privy to Brad's activities these days, but I can guarantee one thing: if myself or other maniacs were aware of some of the things he's doing, our heads would spin. I am certain of that. A, I wouldn't eat the eggshell membrane. Yes, Danny Alameda, not drinking enough water causes lower red blood cells, causes lower white cells, calls the anabolism of muscle tissue. It can raise your blood sugar, your blood pressure just a whole slew of negative side effects. Truth one, if you're doing that form relatively good, you're not leaning back with it or trying to turn that pull down into a some type of row, which so many people do, yes, move up the weight or start doing chin-ups. Ro Rodriguez is thinking of starting a punk rock band called the Insulin Resistant Pigs and having Jay Master's face as a cover. That would be hilarious. 
Did you, Daryl Van Meter says his friend David just went vegan because his estrogen is so high. Guess what, Daryl Van Meter? Your estrogen is going to go higher as well as your fat cells and your muscle cells are going to shrink. Very, very idiotic choice is going vegan at any time. Terry Cruz asks, What's, what are my thoughts on Elvis Presley? No thought at all. Just an average cookie cutter. Sean Lavoy, greetings from Ecuador. Charlie Connery, I train hamstrings. Lying leg curls, seated leg curls. Then I did squats. Then I did leg press. Then I did hack squats. And I'm sorry, before that, all, all of that, I started off doing three sets of crunches as soon as I get into the gym before I go into the uh, locker room. Hercules Misfits, thank you for joining this live in your extremely busy schedule and home life. Yes, Hercules Misfits. What is... The millionaire has to do with how good you're doing in life. Hercules knows many unhappy millionaires. Absolutely. Absolutely. The possessions and the money, that's not what life is. Hercules is, you know, he's been around the world. He doesn't look old, but he's up there. He's seen it all, done it all. Younger misfits, what he says is gold. When when you maniacs get up to that age, a lot of that jealousy and envy just goes. You say to yourself, what a waste of life. What's the point? Who cares? And some may say, well, it's because when you get older, you're not as motivated. You actually are. You're, you see the true meaning of what it means to be a human being. It's how you affect others. And Hercules Misfits has gotten people into shape. He's gotten them healthy. He's gotten them out of a depression. He's got people off substance abuse, alcohol abuse. And that's something that I wish I could experience the things that Hercules Misfits has. When other people see him, they just, this guy changed my life. That's what life's about. And it's not so much about the short-term highs or thrills, which we all have done. We still go back from time to time, but it's just a short-term thrill. And you realize when you do that a little too often, you get sick of it. Say, so why am I doing this? Yes, Charlie Conway. I went to the set of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood with our school. M- Mr. Rogers and Pittsburgh Steelers and Pirates were very accessible to myself and other school kids in the Pittsburgh area. It was great. And I thought Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was, was reality. My father let us watch it of course he used to snort a, he used to sort of ridicule fred rogers you know for talking like a girl and stuff like that but uh, i think the children of today miss fred rogers i think in a way he may have taught boys to be a little more wimpy but he also taught us how to care for one another instead of a lot of the evil that goes on today. And anybody that wants to question the real Mr. Rogers masculinity needs to stop right here because Mr. Rogers fought in combat and was a decorated soldier. Hercules Misfit says having a lot of money is only going to do you good in life if you use it to do good. How do you avoid pulling a muscle? A, number one, stay well hydrated. Make sure you have a good sleep and you're not coming and doing anything 
with lack of sleep, lack of REM sleep, and coming in not having a good meal. Make sure you warm up that muscle, that area, very slowly, depending on how intense that movement's going to be. Like for me, I pull a muscle many times past 30 doing a 40-yard sprint. I didn't warm up enough. And you, I pull that hamstring, and I did it for a semi-professional football team tryout. And I ran a five flat with a pulled hamstring. God knows how much I, more I could have done if I was didn't pull it. I think I could have been a 4'8", 4'7", at 320 pounds in my 30s. Ice Monkey 99, technically marriage is. Marriage has become a joke these days anyway. Look who's allowed to get married. First cycle for someone in their 40s, Brian Sirius. T injectable testosterone, a cc a week. Should do anybody turning 40 fine. You shouldn't have any side effects. You should only have good effects. Hercules went to Costco today, got the filet mignon, a bunch of boneless, skinless, frozen chicken breast to cook up, and got some ground beef or rice aroni mixed with beef meals. That's good eating. You can use the sides of rice, potatoes. It's great. Maybe a little pasta. Throw in a few fruits and vegetables. That's all you need. And you just get hungry I just, just from reading that. And to think the average cookie cutter is going to some greasy fast food joint with very little protein. Ugh. Hercules Misfits is so good, he's actually having his own meal prep business starting without even wanting to. Yeah, people just, they love, they want the convenience, but I don't know, it sounds like a good idea. Just have somebody else do it. Yes, Nate Marks, the Lord is the greatest state right now, but... Nothing surprises me, even with elections that aren't, they're kind of suspect. You know, they do need to eliminate election fraud, have same day elections, eliminate the mail-in ballot and vote. But if you look around, the people that are able to vote in this country, look at them. That doesn't surprise me there wasn't a red wave Look at the people you come in contact with. Does anybody truly believe there's a majority of sensible people training hard, eating the right kind of foods? No. Shipping a meal is $90 and a thermo Cool box is 50 bucks. Wow, I didn't know there was much overhead on that. Thanks, Hercules. Hey, I got the perfect thing for you. When you wake up to piss at the six hour mark, take a tablespoon of free form glutamine, throw it in your mouth under your tongue, let it sit for a few minutes, then wash it down with some water. I can guarantee you within 15 minutes, you'll be out cold with a great REM sleep. I'm sure I would, Hercules Misfits. Sounds delicious. Those are some of my favorite foods. Nothing like some rice aroni with beef. I may have experienced fenibut kidney pain.
Well, Hercules, you never stop. Constantly. Truth One and all the maniacs, check out Hercules Meal Preps on his YouTube channel. They look delicious and they'll teach you how to eat. To be healthy and strong. IHRS Breen, I've never tried eggnog in my life. Plan is a family dinner for Thanksgiving. My favorite meal is a couple medium rare ribeye bone in steaks, a couple loaded baked potatoes, and a big Caesar salad with croutons, Caesar dressing. And I don't eat dessert food. I haven't really eaten dessert food in, in years. But to top that meal off, oh, I forgot the quart of lactose free whole milk. If I were to have a dessert, be a nice big slab of German chocolate cake, which is a great bulk meal, by the way. Frank Hernandez, I'm doing absolutely as good as any human being can be. Learning, motivating, and interacting with the misfit maniacs. Zach DeVisser, you can talk to the promoters. I was expecting the promoters to at least put us into a different promotion or offer us a signed contract on the spot, but it's their loss. Charlie Conway, I don't know my father's phone number, to tell you the truth. Charlie, you probably could find it better than I could. <laughs> Sorry, uh, well, Charlie Conway, I do care what my dad thinks, so. But I'll, I'll ponder that, definitely. Have I ever pissed on the floor in a public restroom? Uh, not on purpose, Roberts. Charlie Conway, I can't lock out my elbows if I tried, so I would get disqualified every time. Danny Aldemita, why do I think Doug Flutie never worked out in the NFL? I think he did. I think it's... Spent a lot of time in Canada, but believe me, he definitely could have been an NFL quarterback. Brian Froelich, yes. My father did mention that name. My father mentioned another name. I think it was his, it was definitely a teammate. His name was Dick Richard. D. Leonardus. Let me get up to speed here. Thank you, Shatter Dreams. Thank you very much, sir. Thoughts on the Virginia football shooting? What would possess somebody to, to shoot somebody else if it's not self defense? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. What kind of hate's in that person's heart? If he would have saw Big Lenny live, he wouldn't have done that. Bob Ross was a drill sergeant. Also heard Captain Kangaroo was uh, served in the military. Oh, you said Fred Rogers did not serve in the military? Oh, okay. You could be right. Thoughts on Trump attacking DeSantis now? That's what politicians and Trump does. He does best. So sit back and enjoy the show.
Yes, I've seen Dorian's reaction to a photo on my show. I would love to talk about many topics with Dorian. Hack of all trades, there's your shout out. Thank you, Big Daddy. Yes. Never eat the salad first, dilute your digestive juices. How's the training going, Big Daddy? Better than expected? Charlie Conway, I believe using gear improves health if done correctly. I'm a firm believer in that, especially testosterone. Nikki Bank says, what am I looking forward to? My next meal, my next live training, interacting with humans and general doing the work of my creator here on earth. And I would just like to mention as a title of this live, you know, I saw a bad situation on the bus going to the gym today where a gentleman came on clearly inebriated sat down on the bus another man came on the bus and bumped him and the other man started screaming and threatening to kill him and me and a few other men went stood right up got in the guy's face surrounded him and said sit down and the bus driver says yes sit down and they're calling the security which they don't call the police they have a special bus security that comes by almost immediately and if you see anybody i don't care if it's in the ghetto getting jumped beaten on whatever stab do your best obviously not to get stabbed but to stop the person doing it same goes for animals uh you have a moral obligation to speak up and Woe on your soul if you did, don't, don't even want to get involved and see someone get beat to death. Not good at all. And I'm glad I went and took the risk along with a few others to stop this kind of abuse. Now it's different. If someone starts shooting, run for cover and take somebody with you. Get them down and covered. But don't allow someone to get beaten by two or three or four more people. I hear that too much. It actually happened to Brad's friend who's a correction officer named Joey Pym, Joe P-Y-M-M. Look in the internet about what happened to him in Boca Raton. Brad wasn't there, but they were close by as well as Meow Man. And you got to get involved. I don't care if that's you or it's don't run away and let something that happen to anybody. Believe me, you'll thank me in eternity for that. And most of you have been doing that your whole life. So what if you're being sued? So what? If that's what it comes to, so be it. I'd rather be sued. I'd rather go to jail than go to hell. And don't forget that. The most dangerous stack I ever ran. That's a good question. I have taken high dosages before contests. Probably didn't need to. But I would probably say the time I had an anadrol hookup and I was taken trying to do four to six anadrols a day with 2,000 milligrams of testosterone, or I was taking 30 or 45 milligram Dianabol a day. I had a hookup for that too. 
along with a lot of testosterone. And I remember waking up with a pillow stuck to my face because my nose would bleed automatically and the blood would dry to where I'm standing there pulling the pillow off my face. So thanks for the reassurance, Big Daddy. It means a lot. Bottom Ron Rose, $1.97 a pound. You got to be kidding me. $1.97 a pound? You got to be kidding me. I got to find a safe way. I recommend Fenobite, yes, to increase self sex drive confidence. You know, dopamine release. It's nothing too severe, but it's just, it helps in certain situations. It really does. Charlie Conway, I personally don't believe there's a correlation between PEDs and longevity. Do you know what, to me, longevity is getting a good deep REM sleep, staying hydrated, eating the appropriate nutrients, having a mindset where you don't worry, you don't fear anything getting sunlight, training hard. Now, I, I think, yes, excessive body weight, excessive excessive calories or sugar are, are dangerous to longevity, but PEDs, you, you can get some liver stress from orals, you can get some high blood pressure, but nobody's gonna stay on those long term. I, would, I never did, you'd be foolish to do that. So Charlie, don't fall into the trap of thinking doing PEDs will decimate your health because some very big PED users are about to turn 80. And some are in the 80, in their 80s, especially within the next five to 10 years. So... Michael Paul, for your first cycle of trend, go lower than the recommended dosage. For instance, if you have trend acetate, try 25 milligrams every other day. I'm not talking Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm talking every other day. Try that, see how it goes. If you're using enanthate, try a twice weekly shot of 50 to 100 milligrams twice a week. And if you have Parabolin, which they do ha have it, Trambolone, Hexa something, high carbonate or whatever, just think back in the day, they had a 1.5 milliliter ampule that had 76 milligrams in it. And I remember paying $40 for an ampule. And me and Meow Man took two of those during our size phase, even before we competed. And the strength and the muscle and the aggression we put on from two of those a week was unreal. Thank you, Cheese. Give us, give us an update on that. Yes, Charlie Conway. However, your blood pressure is only going to be high during certain cycles for a certain amount of time, and it's coming from an exogenous source. I would be worried if I wasn't taking any PEDs to all of a sudden see my blood pressure through the roof. That's what would scare me. Because if you have high blood pressure, you're on anadrols test, you can drop the orals, decrease the test, and you'll be fine. Now, I remember 15, 20 years ago when I was at my biggest and strongest, and I went off, or when I was, I went on certain things, and I would go a little more, a hell of a lot more than I do now to a doctor. I had better insurance at the time too, and whatever. And they would tell me how high my blood pressure was and this and that. And a few weeks later for the follow-up, I'd come back and they'd say, it's perfect. What did you do? And I just sort of smiled to myself. I know what I did. I went off the uh, Anadrol. It's as simple as that. Uh, the only accountant I know is Ronnie Coleman. Sure, Michael Paul. 
Alex, the muscle you gain is uncontrolled by you. You don't have to gain, you don't have to cut a little fat and gain some muscle. You can gain a lot of muscle on Tess and Primo. Back it up with the eating, sleeping, and intense training. Magnus says medical doses of trend were approximately 50 milligrams of substance extra excluded every 10 days. Yes, yeah, so if you have that type of ester, uh, I recommend a little more, though. Sure, for all Rodriguez. <laughs> yes, I had a quack saying I need a liver transplant because the anadrol was, I was on. He also diagnosed me with diverticulitis when, in fact, I had a hernia. He couldn't figure it out. So that started, hey, these doctors don't know what they're talking about. I will never go and fight for Ukraine. Ever. I'll go over there as a peacekeeper, though. Charlie Conway says, the best head I ever had. Let me think. Yes, yeah, sadly, she was a black woman from Delray. She was a graduate of Florida A&M University in 1971. Then she worked for Bell South for a telephone operator for about 17 years. And her oral sex was incredible. As a matter of fact, she taught me how to give a girl oral sex because I met her when I moved down here from Florida. I was, I was 20 years old in 1990 and she had to have been 40s but she looked great and she told me when I, I had intercourse with her back when I used to do that sort of thing which I don't, don't but the only reason I'll do intercourse now is to have a child but back then I had intercourse and she was just astounded how Hawaii at 20 was able to keep it up for so long and so rock hard. And then I told her, I says, yeah, she asked me if I do any drugs or drinking. I said, absolutely nothing. And she says, yeah, all the men here on cocaine and some form or another, they can't get it up. But then she spread her legs and I swear she'd, it took two to three hours. She showed me how to give oral sex to a woman good everything about it, which I did. And I've had, you know, girls say I'm the best ever as far as that goes, thanks to her instruction. But her oral, oral sex was incredible. And she could tell if you're about to come or not. And she could, she would put her hand on a vein or a tubule to stop you from coming. She said she could feel this vein get fat and she could take her finger and stop it so that you don't come prematurely when she's sucking you off. She was an expert, and she was in a nursing home, and I made an appointment to go see her because she was a nice lady, too. She really cared about me. She cared about me, and uh, she'd come to the house quite frequently and, you know, take a cab or whatever. When I lived around the corner, not at that dump, but at the one place in between, I lived in three places over in that neighborhood. And I remember, yeah, she would just, oh, it felt great, incredible. Now, Charlie Connor, it wasn't the fact that any of the girls told Kalora to slow down. It's the fact that the other misfits were basically afraid or didn't want to go into the, into the uh, take advantage of the paid for escorts. I mean, these girls were paid for. They were instructed. Any man asks you to go into a room, go with them. And then they tallied up how many visits they had. But every girl got $500 to come in there. And I think they got a $100 bonus. Depends on how many men they brought into the room. But... Meow Man simply, not only the fact that he was celibate for six years, he was on test at the time, and 
he saw the other guys weren't going in the rooms. The other misfits, Jay, Brad, and Andrew, they weren't asking any girls to go to their rooms for whatever reason. For whatever reason, I don't know. And I had two girls come into the room. And Meow Man simply said, hell, if these guys don't want to take advantage of it, you know, what the hell? And Lou told him to slow down. And Lou didn't realize that the other guys, for whatever reason, didn't want to take these girls into the rooms. And these girls were Cuban, too. They were nice and healthy, young and thick. And I don't know. It's very, very, very bizarre party that day. Well, once again, you see your fellow man in danger, step in, risk, your, risk yourself to a point, be smart about it, but at the same time, treat others as you'd like to be treated. I'm talking, and this is eternity, eternity's forever. Life here on earth here is short, so when you're doing the right thing by your heart, you're doing the right thing. We're here for a short time. However, eternity is forever. Yes, Charlie Conway, that was another, another issue. Olivia wanted to stay and get busy with the girls and let people watch. And once Nate heard that, he says, let's go. Which I was furious, but luckily, Olivia I had the thrill of Olivia giving me an, an injection of papaverin into my penis, which is an erectile dysfunction injection. And that was a thrill in itself. Good night, Big Daddy. Eat, sleep, and grow. Yes, that's the same party, Dave R., with the uh, cream pie cleanup boy. Yes, Marty. Well, Lou wasn't aware that the other guys were afraid to get. But no, we I didn't have 1.4 at the time. Yes, Charlie Conway, you didn't know that? She injected me herself, which Nate wasn't too happy about. Lou showed her how to do it because he had shut me up two or three times and it wasn't working. So that was a thrill. Research bath me. Thank you, Magnus. Good night, Hercules. Good night, Charlie. Good night, everyone. Thanks for everything.